Teddy Feinberg, Brooke Stockberger, Teddy and Brooke Show. Brooke, how are you? Doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Let's get the ball rolling. Let's talk. It's playoff time on the high school level and on the college level. We have our high school sports teams in the baseball and softball tournaments. Yeah. We have the Aggie softball team playing in the WAC tournament. Yeah, it's been a good year on the diamond uh, all the way around. Um, all, all four Las Cruces schools are in baseball and softball in the postseason. And you're right, uh, um, Mexico State softball finished second. They got you know swept by San Jose State in that fight for number one last week. But uh, they're number two in the WAC tournament over in, I think it's in Ruston. In it is in Ruston. And a great town. And they're um, going for that title. They, you know, they were on a great roll in the WAC, 16-4 overall. What a great record. Started out 16-2. Yeah, and then they ran to Amanda Pridmore of San Jose State, who was a dominant pitcher. Um, in terms of the local teams, Cruces High is number one in softball. They're highly ranked in baseball as well. They've had a really a great year across the board, as Brooke alluded to. Onyate Baseball and Softball both had very respectable years as well. Mayfield Bay Baseball and Softball got him. Centennial, a first-year program both in baseball and softball, qualifies. South County, we had San Teresa get in. Mesilla Valley Christian local school here got in as well. So a lot of local representation in the state playoffs should be very interesting to see going forward. They start this weekend. They actually continue through next weekend, depending on which teams are fortunate enough to advance. Let's move on right now. We are going to touch on Aggie football. Um, they had just had spring ball. Brooke, um, what do you think of the team going into the new year? It's exciting. You know, it's always exciting, of course. Um, but, um, you know, they have a new coach, a new coaching staff. Um, you know, they're, they're, obviously the quarterback situation is up in the air. They're going to go into August, you know, trying to decide who's behind, who's behind center. So you always, you know, spring, you know, blooms eternal. As <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And um, yeah, I, I think it's a good idea. They're going to have a tough year. We know they're going to have a tough year, but it'll be interesting to see how they play and you know what. One of the battles that came out of spring and how they shape up when they get to August. It's always tough Aggies playing Aggies. I think we can confidently say their offense is going to be better ram this year. They're going to have a better plan on that side of the ball. Um, I think their quarterback play, although there is a competition there, I think all three played well. I would have to lean towards Caldwell or McDonald winning the starting job over last year's starter Andrew Manley just because those guys can move a little bit. They're a little more athletic. That's what the Aggie offense really wants to do. Main concern, again, we talk about Aggies playing Aggies. When I see the Aggie offense running wild on the Aggie defense all spring, that's a concern of mine. I know a lot of people were saying, well, the running game looks better, but what does that say about the Aggie D? Aggie offense averaged three yards per carry last year. Again, they'll be better offensively, but that much better on the ground, that's a concern in my mind for the Aggie defense. There was obviously a big announcement coming from NMSU this past week. Well, Big's probably an understatement. They, in fact, named Gary Crothers as a new president. Now, Gary obviously has some interesting things to say about football a couple weeks ago, how he would be possibly open to dropping the program if it didn't get up off the ground. Again, I think he was playing a hypothetical game there. Yeah. If it doesn't get moving, we have to do something to get it going in the right direction. But he still said it. Yeah, he still said it. I, like you said, I think he was you know, speaking in hypotheticals. Is that something that's been thrown out there before? My personal opinion is you never give up Division One status or whatever it's called right now. FCS or whatever, you do not get it. You have it, you keep it. I understand the money situation and um, you know, the wins and losses and everything, but you can get that turned around. There have been schools like Kansas State and Bader who've lost for decades and then you know have turned it around and have some really good programs. You have to hold out hope and you just don't give that up because you'll never get it back maybe. Gary's obviously a politician. You know What he says today could change. That goes for anybody. But I will say this. Being a good politician is completely different than running a successful Division I sports program. And I'll also say this. He made a comment that he, wouldn't, he didn't think there could be any more money put into sports at the school, that their budget, it seemed like, was basically where it was. Well, their budget's not very high. So if that's the no. case, I mean, if you want to get that football program going, take it from here first. The deal, you need to put money into it. It's not going to get any better. Yeah, you compare it to other, even just WAC schools, and, you know, their athletics budget is down. You can't stay status quo. Let's move on to the burning questions. This is my favorite topic of the entire show, and we are going to start off with Aggie softball. Will they win the WAC tournament? You mentioned number two seed, San Jose State number one. I have a very good feeling. I think maybe that last... Um, doubleheader loss right before the start of postseason. Maybe shook them up a little bit. They were on such a nice roll. So I'll say yes. I say they're going to um, take down San Jose State and win the WAC tournament. After getting swept by San Jose State, they're clearly not the favorite. This is why it's important to have a dominant pitcher. Alex Newman's a very good pitcher. She's not dominant. Pridmore can really strike batters out. She's dominant. I have to give the edge for San Jose State just because when you have a really good pitcher, you can throw her all day, every day. 
Will Aggie baseball win their final six games of the season? They're going to uh, Texas San Antonio. They're going to Seattle U. Neither one of those teams is very impressive. Aggies looking to go into the yeah. WAC tournament strong. Yeah, and the Aggies came out of senior weekend very well with a sweep. Of, you know, them playing San Jose State. So, you know, they're playing for positioning as well. They're tied for fourth now. They were tied for fifth. So, um, I don't think they'll win the final six. So that's kind of hard. They've been give them a nine-game winning streak. So, they'll probably drop at least one or two. They've been too inconsistent to say they're going to win the final six, but... I do think they're on the year strong, and I think they're going to perform well in the WAC tournament. I just have a feeling about that team. They've been very up and down. Hopefully they'll get hot at the right time. Will Cruises High Baseball or Softball win state championships in the next two weeks? Now, we're asking specifically about these two teams because they want a state football championship, state boys basketball, a cheer competition, the cheer state. Golf is a favorite, yeah. but Will Baseball and Softball is an outstanding year for the school. Yeah, it sure has. I mean, based on past experience in this, in this school year, you got to figure at least one of them is going to bring out the title. Cruz High Baseball has been red hot lately. They're really clicking at the right time. Softball, again, do they have the dominant pitching to win? That's the question. You know, I don't want to say no. I'm going to say yes. Folks, thanks for joining us as always. At Teddy Feinberg, at B Stockburger. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on Sports Facebook. LCSun-News.com all day, every day is the standard website for the latest and greatest. See you.